Okay, this is a video on how to get uh, up to speed on the edge softening plugin, which includes downloading everything you need to do to get it to work. Uh, many of the matrix installs now um, install the edge softening plugin, uh, but you will need the Rhino RDK, which is the render developer kit, to uh, to make it run. So the easiest way to check is to type uh, plugin and just hit enter. Uh, which runs uh, Plugin Manager, and you can see right here if you have the Edge Softening plugin, then you're um, you're good to go there. Um, then we'll go uh, out on the web. Okay, so um, I can never remember this En Wiki McNeil blah 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 blah. So I usually just do a Google search for uh, Rhino Labs. Okay. And uh, here it is right here, Rhino 4 Labs. And uh, once we're in Rhino Labs, uh, we'll scroll down here. There's the Edge Softening plugin. And so if you don't have that, um, then you would click here to download that plugin. And uh, there's download the plugin. And also, as you will see, the Rhino RDK is uh, right here to download. So I'll just uh, click on this save file. And uh, it's very small. The download comes in uh, virtually instantaneously. And then uh, I'm going to download the uh, RDK as well. Um, da -da 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 -da, Rhino K plugin installer. So we'll go ahead and download that and make sure you scroll down and see the picture of this guy because it's really funny. Uh, we don't need the SDK, that's Software Developer Kit. So uh, click here. And uh, you need to put in your email, which I'll do, and then uh, download that. I'm going to pause here. Okay, so here we have um, the files downloaded. So here's Matrix. Here's the RDK release, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, depending on when you're watching this video, there might be a newer version, but this is the one that, that I have right now. Um, what you need to do is close Matrix. Make sure Rhino or Matrix are not running and install this RDK. Okay. Uh, I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it now. Then open up Matrix again. And here's the Edge Softening plugin. Now, you want to save this, probably not on your desktop, but somewhere, uh, well, here, I'll show you where I would save it. Let's go here, here. Let's pull this up. Oops. All right. So we want uh, Matrix 6 and then Plugin. And uh, this is where I put mine. You can see Edge Softening right there. So that's where we would save that file. Then to load it, you just drag it out here into one of the active viewports and let go. And uh, mine's already installed, so I'm not going to do that. Um, and then watch the command line, and it'll say successfully loaded plugin. Okay, so it's it's a non-event. So uh, there's that. So then. Um, with that done, with that plugin installed, you may have to close Matrix and open it back up again. I think I would so that it'll show up in our render uh, menu. Now, here's um, here's how the plugin works. Oops, I hit, hit a button there. Um, here's how the plugin works. Let's get something that's hard edge. So here we go. Like this and like this, and there's something that's obviously going to have a hard edge. So let's go to render in here, and um, okay, let's go and uh, if here's the options. If you left click this, it brings up the V-Ray for uh, either Matrix or Rhino options, depending on what you have. If you right click it, it brings up the V-Ray Builder options that we built. And right here is Prompt Edge Softening. 
So if you turn this on, every time you do a render, okay, it'll prompt you for edge softening. So let's go ahead and do a render here real quick, like, come on, you can do it. There we go. All right. So there's some metal. And we'll do this, and we'll zoom in on this. And ground planes. Okay, and an environment. Okay, so what happens is now if we hit go and watch the command line, it says pick the surfaces and or poly surfaces that you want to have softened. So you just click on it and hit enter. The program will then mesh it, put the material back on, and uh, here we go. And then as you can see, um, the edge is, is softened, um, no filleting involved whatsoever. Okay, um, now, if you want more edge softening, then here's what you can do. You can select the object and go to Edit Object Properties, which by default is Control-T as in Tango in, uh, in Matrix, unless you've changed it. And then you'll notice that under the object uh, list is edge softening. And if you turn that on, then the interesting thing is, let's go ahead and shade this, and we'll perhaps put this on a different layer. Okay, so with the object selected with edge softening on, you can see that the softening has taken place. It's a shading thing. That's all it's doing is a shading issue. Uh, if we go up and go 0.5 and hit enter, okay, then you can see that there's a, a larger radius, and uh, there's there's a point of of no return where uh, you may you may not see more things happen, but you can see how far away the uh, actual shade is from here because of the radius corner. So with that done, if you if you change that setting, then you can do the render again and it will go get the value for the uh for the item that you wanted or that you set per item. Okay? Because otherwise the builder will default to point one. So uh there you go. There's a heavier um, edge mesh soften right there for us. Now, there is there are will be models. Um, I don't know. There 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 will be models where it will fail softening the mesh edge, and the model will actually disappear and not come back. So. Uh, make sure that your object, is, your model is in a job bag or saved before you do this. Um, if you build something for five hours and then render it and it goes away, it'd be not much fun. Um, and there's nothing we can do about that. The plugin was made by a third party, and we're just taking advantage of it. And uh, so, if if you have a, a model that doesn't um, fill it the or you know soften the edge uh, very well and or disappears. Uh, you know, we'll just hope that they get a more robust version out in the future. So um, that's uh, that's how it works. Oh, one last thing: if if for whatever reason maybe you want to grow or uh, mill a model that has this edge, you can actually select the model and go uh, extract, and you can extract a softened edge mesh. So we would click that, and here is the actual mesh as it's made. So if we go here and go back to uh, Properties, Edge Softening, and turn it off, there's Edge Softening off, and there's the extracted mesh with it on. And uh, you can use that model for whatever you want. So uh, there you go.